So, what type of game is Rabbit Escape? Well, it's a puzzle game, a bit of an arcade game. As you can see, you have rabbits that walk about, uh, and until you tell them to do something, they just keep walking, and often that results in uh, uh, bad things for them. So, if I pick up um, a digging token, I place it somewhere, one of these rabbits will pick it up and use it to do something. Uh, and that should be enough to get all three of these rabbits um, from where they came in and this orange arrow through into the exit. So it's puzzles, um, it's also free software, open source, um, It's a, I like to call it a homemade game. Uh, it's got no adverts, it's got no in-app purchases. Uh, there's a pay-for version and a free version, but they're actually exactly the same. So you just choose the pay-for version if you want to say thank you. Uh, it's the cheapest price it can be on the Play Store. Thank you very much if you paid it. Um, I'm going to show you some levels to try and give you an idea of the kinds of things. Um, uh, kinds of puzzles, kinds of um, things you'll be thinking while you're playing. So for example, on a level like this, um, you might be thinking, well hold on, I've only got two digging tokens. How am I going to get all of my rabbits from both sides into the exit? Um, on this level, you might be thinking, well hold on, I've got three rabbits down the bottom there. How on earth am I going to get them to climb up to the top? Maybe I can give them a climbing token and they can climb up somewhere. But what then? Well, you might be thinking... Which one do I have? Oh, on this uh, level that looks a bit like a space invader, you might be thinking, oh my goodness, how on earth do I do anything before those rabbits just fall off the edge? give you a bit of a hint on that one. If you press the pause button, that'll at least give you time to think. You can see a bit more what's going on. Choose an ability. You can't actually place an ability or a token until um, you unpause, but at least gives you um, a chance to think about what you're doing. Or on this level, you might be um, thinking, hold on a second, how on earth do I get those two rabbits to get all the way over this stuff I can't dig through? into the exit over there. Can I use a climbing token here? Or will my rabbit just climb right off the top and die? How about this one? You might be thinking to yourself, what on earth? I'm completely stuck. I don't know what to do. I can get this one to go down maybe by digging down here. Can I get this one to build a bridge? things like that. And then if you get onto some of the really exciting levels, you might be asking yourself, what on earth are those red rabbits? What happens when my rabbit walks into them? And the answer is they explode. But you might even be thinking, how on earth do I get away from that huge crowd of red rabbits? So that's the kind of thing that you're going to be um, trying to solve. Some of it's kind of quick uh, reactions. A lot of it's thinking, um, trying to think outside of the box of how do these abilities um, get me to a place where my rabbits can get to the exit. Um, there's lots of nice easy levels that get you started. Uh, there's lots of really difficult levels, um, some of which I've found extremely difficult to solve. At the moment there are 160 levels, but there are more being created all the time. And you can help make more. There's a fairly friendly level editor uh, and a website where we share the levels we're creating using the level editor. Uh, uh, it's a friendly, small community. Uh, people are nice to each other. Um, and unlike some apps on the App Store, this isn't something that's just been thrown up there and no one cares about it. Uh, this is a game that um, a, a small, friendly group of people really love. Um, and are uh, enjoying playing together. So why not give it a go? 
Um, see if you can solve some of the easy levels and see if you catch the bug.